牛叫，牛叫，牛叫。牛叫，牛叫，牛叫，牛叫。Welcome to this edition of Central Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Today I'm back here at Coyote Lake, and it's going to be kind of a prototype day. I'm going to be fishing our prototype six-inch finesse worm. Had this worm around for a while, uh, fish it in Pino, having some of my shows, but never really focused on it. Got more into the cuttails on a little four and a half inch. But now that I know this lake is such a good drop shot lake. Uh, I'm going to be throwing this around, have a bunch of them in the green pumpkins, these be the color here. Also have some of our prototype jerk baits, it's a suspending jerk bait. Um, Chesby, where I was and failed and the locals showed up and cut out my jerk bait. I want to go back and try that there, but I know they're doing the shad here, so I'm probably going to give it a try here today. I keep the last like four times I've been here, I say I'm going to throw it, but I haven't. But I'm going to try and really focus on it. So that's my game plan. Might might actually do the big three inch flicking. See if they like the little flicking in here. But uh, I'm mostly going to focus on our little six inch finesse worm uh, into green pumpkins. It seems to be a good color, and I have so many with me. And well, see how it goes. Hope you enjoy the show. All right, found my first fish. Um, I don't know what's up with today. Last time I was here, I showed up at the same time and I caught like fish right away. Today I tried the uh, six inch in the green pumpkin, threw it around, uh, I've been here about 45 minutes now, two little bites, went back to the four inch and cut this little one. So I don't know, last time I was here there was about an hour or two that was a complete lull and threw everywhere and could get a bite. Maybe it's earlier this time and that's when I showed up, but uh, I'm going to stick with the four inch since it's so slow until I... Hopefully they start hitting or whatever, then I can check out the six inch. But let me let this one go and get back to fishing. Okay, I'm starting to find some fish more on the point, kind of to the side, but more on the point than where I've been getting them deeper. So maybe they're shallower. <laughs> This one is fat. Obviously been out there on a shad. This one was also on a little four inch, but you know, I've kind of found them out there. I'm gonna switch up to the six inch and see if I can get them on that. Maybe some bigger ones. Uh, let me let this one go. Okay, still just sort of updating as I'm prototyping and playing around. Caught this one on our dropping stick, which I often refer to as our big three inch. But I actually was drop shot in it, had it nose tooked, and uh, caught this little one. But for now, I mean, this is a three inch, the other one's a four inch. Been trying the six inch, got a few little bites, and they won't touch it. Everything I've caught so far has been on a small profile bait, four inch, and this a three inch. So, I don't know. If, if they start high, hitting more, I am going to go back to the 6 inch, but they seem to like a smaller profile in here, so while it's still kind of slow, I'm going to stick with it. Alright, let me let this one go.
Okay, my game plan to this point pretty much sucks. I can't even get them on the, well, I got those few on the four inch and the one on the drop shot, had another one hooked, or on the drop and stick, had another one hooked on that. But I don't know, maybe it's a Monday and the weekends here are really crowded and this guy just met at this point, always has like 10, 15 people on it, but I don't know, it's totally different. You can hardly get a bite. Getting some bites and they're just dropping it instead of hanging on. So, um, I don't know, maybe they'll pick up in the evening, but I'm just going to scramble and go back to what's been getting them the 4 inch. If they actually start hitting, I'll switch up to the 6 inch and see if I can start getting them on that. But right now, it's just, I don't know what happened. It's like a totally different lake. Um, they're still here. There's the little ones doing the same thing, chasing the shad around. So, I don't know, I'm going to get back to just scrambling and trying some stuff and see if I can get some fish. Okay, it's been a while. Finally got another fish on the drop shot, the drop and stick, uh, chartreuse, watermelon, laminate, and this fish, and right below his stomach, lips are red, in before his gullet is all red. Caught one the last time I was out that was like that. That means they're eating uh, crawdads. So I don't know, maybe in a little bit, switch into a crawdad on a jig, maybe a finesse jig, something. But uh, at least I got another one. I think now I'm finally going to hook up the hat cam. Because there's only about two or three hours left. And uh, see if I can start getting some fish. This lake has been so incredible. Now suddenly, <coughs> poopy. It's a Monday and weekends are crowded. Like, like I think I said that last time. So I don't know if that's the deal. Let me let this one go. I think I'm going to head over there. Yeah, it's... Never know. Okay, I've relocated to the launch. I decided after all that time down there at the point, forget it. If it ain't happening down there by now, it ain't happening. I said my plan's gone to rye. Nothing on the jerk bait, nothing on the six inch, only on a few of it of what has been working. And well, the drop and stick, which is kind of new, but I caught three on that. I only got two on the worm that was working. So hopefully, in the last couple hours around here, I can get some fish. All right, I think I might start on the magic log. How you doing? No, I tried over there for a second, but. I've done it before. I, yeah, I tried for six hours down and then I came here and caught five. Yeah. Caught them on jigs and caught them on uh, the wacky. And then on, that later that day, some kid said he was catching them all day on the point, so I tried it out and I caught 20 on the drop shot there. Have you caught any black crappie this year? No, I've only been coming here for the last week. Oh. Right now I set the hook and went, oh, Jesus, second hit bottom, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They follow it down. Well, I'm just gonna like set my camera right here. <laughs> Friday it was this guy Paul. He, he took over the show for about 15 minutes because I couldn't get a bite, and I just kept filming him catch one after the other on night crawlers. I'm all well. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at him. It's it's the Paul show now because I don't know how to catch a fish. We were convinced it was the weekend, but. I think you proved that's not the deal. No. We're like, maybe they just don't hit because of everybody here on the weekend. Oh, I missed him. And then you're down here with night crawlers, which is what they use, and you're catching them left and right. So. Yeah. Obviously, our theory is out the window. <laughs> so much for the Monday thing. <laughs> Thanks for spoiling why we thought we were doing bad. We thought we had a, we thought we had a great excuse. We're like, yeah, it wasn't us. It was just the Monday. Nobody's catching them. <laughs> You're down here catching four pounders and six pounders. And oh my God! Yay! Way out there. Yeah, that's what I. That's where I'm casting. I need to catch one now. There's hope. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's a drop there. It's a big drop. And you want to go past the drop. So what do I mean? A six and a four is worth. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough to you know something. <laughs> the ones down there, the lips are red, which means they're on crawdads. Oh. Yeah, the, it, I did not know that. the lips right here get dark, dark red, and then the little those things on each side of the mouth that are kind of tan, yeah. they turn deep dark red. I caught two of them down there that were like that. Yeah, it's from uh, munching on the shells. Wow. They're, the, the, the skin and that in between their teeth gets all irritated, turns dark red. Oh, wow. And then right before where they swallow it, gets all irritated and gets a deep dark red. Oh, I'll be damned. He was a lot closer. And smaller. <laughs> yeah. Man, all these fish are so long and skinny. And I'm jealous. Cost six pounder. Yeah. I've been here. <gasps> Mine just died. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, see, it's now it's fun. now it's an eight. <laughs> now it's an eight. Yeah, now it's an eight. No, 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 it was huge. I actually laid it. She was going to show us a six pounder, and her battery uh, on her I, phone I, died. I swear to God, it did. <laughs> yeah. Was that an iPhone six? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I died. So we almost got to see a big one. I've only been catching like pounders, pound and a quarter, pound and a half. But she got a six, and you said a four. Four and a half. Six, six, one, and a four and a half. Uh, yep. Just and throwing out here I'm with night crawlers. Yep. Sweet. I do it. Next time we know what you use when we come. All right, I'm going back to fishing. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I know my phone dies right then. All righty. Got that one. <laughs> Got that one. We can jump. Oh damn! Come on, man. Where's my double? Dang. <laughs> Jesus. I was looking at you and I see my line moving and I tried to set the hook, dropped it already. Another little like 12 incher. On a 6 inch. On the 6 inch. The prototype finesse worm. All right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Said you get snagged right there, so I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. Shallower. Shallow right there? Or it's a fish. It's fish. <laughs> uh, Little guy. <laughs> well, I guess I don't know if there's a snag there or not, because I caught the fish before it even moved it. Little guy. Liking that new finesse worm. Liking the new little finesse worm. He went straight into the bottom. What? I can see bait in his mouth. He's got shad in his mouth? Yep. Looks like it. See the tail sticking out? Yep. <laughs> little guy. Those are the ones we see in Chase. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> I think this is the best one yet. I'm not. <laughs> Maybe. Probably all no. Bigger. About the same. There we go. On the six inch finesse worm. Another one. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Here they come straight up. Look at him. <laughs> I know. He doesn't even. What are you doing, fish? Hey, he was like water skiing. He, <laughs> he was. He was freaking water skiing. 
I thought he was caught on line or something because he was just like sitting there going that way. That was weird. You got him? Yep. On a little blade worm? Too far to the right. I might just put on a throw my sinkle right here. That one's bigger than the other one. Yeah, the one I caught earlier was, was just born. <laughs> that one's on our blade worm. <laughs> I switched to the six and, and set the four there and he's like, I'm just gonna use this. I'm like, go ahead. Don't have to do any fancy robo worm colors. He, he, he took off the bowl bluegill <laughs> <laughs> to use my green pumpkin. <laughs> Got him? Yep. On that little teeny piece of worm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so smart. Oh, that's a one. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. On the littlest piece of worm. <laughs> that's yeah, a keeper. Oh, oh, oh. Man. That's it, we're going too big. <laughs> he throws on the other fish ate the tail. He just throws out the little piece of worm. He <laughs> catches the little keeper. <laughs> Got him? Yep. Yep. <laughs> that one's a bass this time. I was right out there where I got the hit. <laughs> Little guy. Oh. oh, I thought you got a big one. I know. <laughs> I was gonna uh oh. Stay. Broke me off. I was gonna say that's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. I had one. You have one? Yeah, I was just sitting with it. <laughs> you were just sitting with it? Yeah, I was just sitting with it until I tied my line and I felt it on it. That's a nice one. I know. It didn't. It just grabbed it. It didn't even pull anything. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just sitting there with it in his freaking mouth. Yep. That's funny. That's so funny. That's a good sign. For this lake, it seems to be. Yep. Well, it definitely died for me. <laughs> it's the live bait I've given you a little bit. After I rush back and catch oh, fish. <laughs> Told you I was snaking your spot. <laughs> oh, you got my line. Do I? I was going to say, oh, I got a fish on. Yeah, I snake your spot and I catch my smallest one yet. I know. I ain't got my line, too. I know. <laughs> well, there's a fish. I got a hold of his line. I think that fish was going for mine, but you stole it. Yeah, I snaked him. Oh, you just had a fish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you pulled it. I was trying to get this undone and it totally pulled it. <laughs> I thought it was you. <laughs> you got him? Yeah, I got him. I'm not even turning off the camera then. Oh, another little guy. Oh, man. Baby one. Oh, well. That was funny, though. <laughs> While I was untangling. His line from mine, that fish hit. <laughs> and I thought it was him pulling it. How funny. Alright, that's going to do it for this edition of Sunday Coast Bass Fishing Shows. If you can even see me. Yeah, I waited a little long. Just trying to get another fish, trying to get another fish. Uh, show kind of worked out. I mean, I went to the prototype 6 inch down here. When we finally went someplace where there are actually fish. And I caught some on it. But... And at the end, I switched back to the 4-inch because he caught him on that little teeny piece of worm. But, uh, yeah, good day. Uh, Jerkbait. Tried that, but doesn't, he tried to rattle trap all around a lot. Just doesn't seem to be a good active bait. It's like plastics, plastics, live worms. So, um, that was pretty good. The beginning was a little poopy, but it picked up here at the end. 
that lady I know there's big fish in here that lady caught a six one and a six and a half so uh, I'll be back here uh, but next time out I might go back to Anderson and try the other side across the bridge uh, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Center Coast Bass Fishing Shows, and I hope you join us for our next one. I gotta walk up the hill in the dark. Heck yeah! Here we go.